This is Dresden, a university city, tourist hotspot and cultural center. But during the Second World War, the city's streets were raised to a pile of rubble and burning embers, the aftermath of more than 5,000 tons of high explosives dropped by British bombers. The new Bomber Command Memorial unveiled today in London has caused a media storm with Dresden's mayor at the center of it. I spoke to the City Hall spokesperson who wants to set the record straight. Every city has its own tradition and culture to remember its own history. And people do remember here in Dresden of the night of the 13th February in 1945 and the victims. And so this was a topic here for us in the city of Dresden. But I think it was kind of misunderstanding that we are against that memorial. It was more a hint of our Lord Mayor to the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, to tell him that it is a good sign of reconciliation to remember all victims of the Second World War. The bombed out buildings have been rebuilt to original drawings or replaced by modern structures. The Frauenkirche, the Church of Our Lady, is one symbol of reconciliation. The crucifix at the top of the tower was donated by Dresden's twin city, Coventry. The cross was made by a metalsmith, the son of one of the British bomber crews who targeted the city. Okay, the war is still in their minds and it should never be forgotten, but I think we should live in the future now and not have problems all over the world. We should live in peace together. That's what this woman church is standing for. It's, uh, yeah, it's a building which should remind on the war, but yes, bring together people all over the world. Contrary to recent thinking, the new Bomber Command Memorial isn't the hot topic as described here in Dresden. I haven't heard many people talk about it, to be honest. Um, it's not been on the news, uh, but I suppose it will be on the news once the, it has been revealed. As we look across this reconstructed city, the areas that destroyed it 67 years ago will obviously never be forgotten. But today, here on the streets of Dresden, there's no animosity towards the Brits or the new memorial. In fact, it's the opposite. The relationship is very much alive between Germany and Britain and stronger than ever. Annie Hairsign, Forces News, Dresden.